Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into today's fix. So for today, we're gonna be fixing the connection for the aux for my Corolla. It's a 2009 Sport Corolla. It went out a couple of years ago actually, and I haven't been able to replace it, but I recently looked into it and I found the replacement part, brand new. You can find it basically anywhere like eBay, Amazon, or even Walmart, or you can get it from the dealership. But I found this one to be about $15. I did find some for cheaper on eBay for like $12, but those took like almost a week to get here and this one got here in just a few days. So I went ahead and ordered this one. And right now I'm gonna show you guys how to replace it. It's a very simple process, so let's get into it. So for this process, you're gonna want to remove the plastic trim around the center console to remove this center piece right here. So we're gonna do that by prying it and it's fairly simple just be careful with the clips there are four clips you just want to wiggle it out out of place and you just want to pull up like that and wiggle it out to pry it out and we're going to do the same with this this other side i'll show you guys right now what the pins look like See, it was very simple. Just with my hands, I was able to take it out. And then the pins, this is what they look like. The first big one right there, the second one, the third one, and then the final one right next to the, the shift knob is right there. And then the exact same thing for the other side. Now we're gonna continue by removing these two screws. And all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys do have those. And make sure you do not lose the screws. All right guys, so once these two screws are released, um, we're gonna go down here by the shifter knob. We're gonna put it in neutral, make sure your car has the e-brake up. And we're gonna try to pry this all open so that this section can come off. So we're gonna go ahead and try to wiggle everything out very simple just be gentle all right you just want to pull it pull it up and pull it out and it's just kind of hard to wiggle around the, the shift knob right here because it's kind of big so we'll just have to move this to the side right here and don't really worry about that and then now we have access to the really important part that we needed to get to up here so now there's two clips holding this thing in place and you can push this part out where the aux input is and you can change it from right here but the pigtail is pretty short so if you release it it might just fall back in there and it might be harder to replace so those two clips are Right here on this side this clip and then the exact same thing on the other side so what you're gonna want to do we're just gonna go in there we go so now that we got it taken off this is the what we came for the aux input and you just want to release it from right underneath here there's a little pin push it in and you pull it out now this old one is out and we can replace it with the new part and this is the part number i believe and the new part number this is the part number okay so this is the new one and we're going to go ahead and install it we're just going to want to press it in here okay guys so now we're just going to want to install it gonna press it in here clip it in place install the pigtail just like how it was with the original and if you guys would like you guys can test the aux right now okay so we're just gonna test it out by installing the aux we're gonna the aux setting right here play the music so yeah, it works It sounds so much better than having the radio transmitter. So we're gonna finish up the whole process now. 
So installing everything is basically like removing everything but in reverse. So we're just gonna insert everything back. And this process should be a lot easier since we already know where everything goes. Now we're just gonna install this next piece. Make sure you put the car in neutral before you put it back in. Okay, everything's good. And now the screws. Okay, now we're gonna install our plastic trim. Okay, and just like that, everything's back together and now I can listen to any type of music I want and bump it as loud as I want. All right guys, that completes today's video. If you guys did find it informative, please leave a like. And if you guys want to see more of my content, make sure to subscribe. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.